Good morning guys, it is the next day of our trip. It is Friday and we are heading to Vesselcon. So it's the first day of Vesselcon. We're gonna go try and meet some people and yeah, see what they've got. So Vesselcon this year is being held at the Sheraton Hotel, which is probably about, well, we know because we live, we're like staying next door to it. It's like a 12 minute walk from the WWE World event, um, which is held in the, uh, the convention centre, that's the one. Right guys, successful morning. So we met Billy Gunn, um, Kishi, Kurt Angle and Booker T. We wanted to meet Trish and Lita but the queue is huge and we have the three day pass. We came in like at half nine today and the general entrance is at ten. So we meant that like, we queued like for five minutes with Booker T, maybe like 20 minutes with Kurt Angle. And we were the first in line for um, the Kishi which was amazing. Um, so I think we're gonna look at the shop now. Callum is looking at random signed stuff um, and then I think we're going to head back because we've got Hall of Fame and Smackdown tonight and it's going to be a long night so I think we're going to have a look at some bits and bobs and then come tomorrow morning as well. Right guys we have finished with WrestleCon, picked up Quite a few autographs, met a few people, which was great. Um, we dropped our stuff back at the hotel and then we're gonna walk, well actually we're gonna walk to the um, WWE World in the convention center because we wanna pick up our wristbands for Sunday just because the queue this morning was like forming at 8.30 um, and we have a CM Punk VIP meet and greet thing at midday on Sunday so we don't have to get up really early to meet him. So we're gonna go pick up our wristbands now, and then we are gonna to go to Reading Town on Market. So we went to Reading Town Market, it was heaving, but we did pick up some food, so I'll quickly show it to you. And we're gonna come back, we'll come back to the hotel. We're gonna eat, chill out for the day. And then we've got um, Smackdown and Hall of Fame later. And then for lunch, we picked up two Philly cheese steak sandwiches. One is with American cheese and one is cheese whiz, and then some fries. So I picked up two cookies for dessert for lunch. So this is a peanut butter chocolate chip cookie and a white macadamia cookie. This is from 4th Street Cookie Company. This is meant to be a really popular company here in Philadelphia, so I thought I would try them. Good evening, guys. So we came back to the hotel room, had a lovely cheesesteak sandwich, and I'm gonna be honest, had a nap. We had like a solid two hour nap, which was beautiful. Got changed, got my rock t-shirt on that I picked up at the Superstore yesterday. We are heading now down to Wells Fargo for Smackdown and Hall of Fame. We're gonna catch the train there. Um, it's only like 20 past six. We've got about an hour and a half before it starts, but we would just like, just take it. Let's go and see, see how long it gets there. It should only take about 29 something, something like, like 30 minutes to get there. So let's just go. Right, we've just got to Wells Fargo. Super easy way to get here. The train station is literally like a two minute walk opposite the uh, marina. We've just come, we're on the like in the 200s, so we've just come to the top. We've just bought a beer for 15, like what was it? $34 for two, which is atrocious. Um, but we are here, about 45 minutes to go. So we're just gonna chill out and wait for Smackdown to start. We picked up some <laughs> chips just to share. Uh, this was like $15 and $3 for cheese dip. Introducing first, representing the Judgment Day.
together.
was to become champion. And this Sunday, know this, that when one good story ends, an even better one begins. Smackdown is over. It's now time for Hall of Fame. And they're just setting up the stage now. on like the feed um, of this at home on the network, the like Peacock network, whatever, they, they're showing the interviews, but we can't hear a single thing in the audience, so that's interesting. Boxer before he was a wrestler, he sparred with Ali, 
and Ali was one of my heroes. And as Lonnie had said, in 1998, your boy joined a faction called the Nation of Domination. And I would run around and not only run my mouth, but I would call myself the people's champion. And we were in Louisville, Kentucky, and the Ali family had come to watch our matches that night. I made sure to speak with them afterwards, and I said, please tell Muhammad I, it's out of respect that I call myself the people's champion. I was getting booed in arenas across the country, and that's right. And I said to them, please tell Muhammad I mean that out of respect, and they, the Ali family said, Mohammed said he wants you to have the people's champ title, and it meant, so thank you, it meant so much to me. This, this title is beautiful, and I, I, look, I, I'm a lucky SOB, I got a lot of nicknames, uh, the most electrifying man in all of entertainment, the great one, the final boss! Those of you who fool and sit there, shut your mouth and enjoy the ride that the rock is taking you on. Please join us. 